What is up guys, Killer Kevin, today on this particular Ape series we are going to be doing He-Man by the power of Grayskull. Little bit of a fanboy, not going to lie, but yeah, we're going to be doing He-Man. If you haven't seen the thumbnail, it is on screen now. Boop. Oh damn, look at that. Wow. That looks pretty damn crazy if you ask me, man. That looks pretty damn cool. So yeah, I'm going to give you a rundown of the colours you're going to be using for this particular build. We're going to be using black wool for the skeleton. I thought we'd mix it up a little bit today because He-Man doesn't really have like a bright skin. He's kind of like, he's, he's old fashioned, he's like really tan. Like you know those like 80 year olds you see on holiday that look like potatoes with sunglasses. He kind of looks like that. So I've gone to that sort of that kind of colour of skin. I've gone for the light grey stained clay on this particular build here. Obviously gone for a red stained clay just to merge the colours in quite nicely. It's not too vibrant but it's kind of it's old fashioned it leaves it nice to that sort of sense. Uh, I've got yellow stained clay here. I need a little bit of detailing for the hair on that particular colour there. And then we can kick back into the walls here. We've got some dark grey wool for the chest piece. Obviously that will correspond nicely with that flat red that we have there. Wool for a little bit of the eye detailing as well. You're probably going to need about 8 blocks of this in total. I'm not too sure. But you won't need a lot at all. Uh, obviously light grey. little, th pro Approximately probably about 3 bits for his sword. Which is a little bit upsetting because I'd like to use a little bit more wool in this. And orange as well for his belt and his arm straps there. Just to make that a little bit more pop against the yellow stained clay. So, as always guys, I never build anything on the floor because it just looks nappy. If you're building a pixel on the floor, give so get get someone to give you a slap. That's for damn sure. Because you don't build pixel on the floor. It's like, would you have a canvas laying on the floor? No, you'd have it on your wall. Exactly, exactly the same thing. Maybe like other tutorials like build tutorials like vehicles and other things. By the way, if you want to go check those out of the whole playlist of that, make sure to go and look at those. Then, uh, yeah, build them on the floor, but pixel art, no, 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 don't build pixel art on the floor, naughty, don't do that. So, you want a line of nine, however fashion you like, so three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like so, there's a line of nine, it's going to be his left foot, and then we're going to make his right foot here, so you want to just grab three miscellaneous blocks along from the left foot, and left foot, left block, and make another line of nine, like so, so I'm just going to make, take those out, like so, so you want two lines of nine, looking beautiful, oh, damn. They look sexy as hell. So after that, you want to come into the mid, you want to come one, two, add it on to the middle ones here. Very symmetrical, this build. I'm not going to lie. I think it's very symmetrical, actually. His head is almost symmetrical as well, which we don't have a lot of that in our build, so that's pretty cool. Then we're going to do a Mickey Mouse face in the middle, so just one invisible says the other side, and then obviously peek up the top like so. If you don't know what I mean by Mickey Mouse face, if you turn your head left or the right, I'll do it with you, I'll turn mine to the right. As you can tell, this bit here is going to be his nose, and this bit here is going to be the signature. I think it's his eyes or his ears, I'm not too sure. One of those, but that's pretty much a Mickey Mouse face, so don't get me wrong there, boy, because I know what I'm on about. So, on either side as well, from the very ends there, like say you want to place a black block like that. So you should have a pattern that looks almost, or actually should it be similar, or exactly the same as this one, like that. After that, we're going to come up and out of the visible stair set, or sorry, up and into the visible stair set, and we'll make a line of two, like so. Oh, exactly the same through that one. Then what we're going to do is making the same pattern again, come up to but This one's going to be an L shape. Now, the right L needs to be facing towards the right. And if you can tell over here, if we do this one here, we'll come up in the same pattern as this one. The left L needs to be facing towards the left. So as you can tell, it adds a little bit more detailing onto the legs there. It's kind of nice and easy like so. After that, we're going to add another two invisible sets coming into the build. And that'll be it for the time being for those legs. So one, two, and again the same thing on the side. One, two, like so. After we've done that, let's add a little bit of detail here. Because, you know, why the hell not? What we're going to do is grab our orange. Should we grab our orange? Yeah, let's grab our orange wall like so. I'm actually just going to breach those two blacks together like so. Just run a line all the way over till they connect like that. Underneath that, we're going to grab our red stained clay. And we're going to come underneath again with another line coming all the way along. And then what we're going to be doing is just coming in one from the edge and just make two. So as you tell by the Mickey Mouse nose, just add two out like the side. So you should have a pattern that looks like this. Alright, we're going to do the shoes now. So we're going to come down to the bottom here. We're going to add a line of, a lane, a line of seven. And then after that, we're just going to put another line of five on top like so. Same thing on this one as well. Come all the way along the bottom and then all the way along again with the second line like so. These two small segments here, you can fill in with your light grey wool or your skin colour, whatever, whatever you want to be using. I'm going to use this one that's really nice and it complements He-Man so well. And uh, obviously remember the old comics or even the old TV series. Obviously it does have a lot he has a really strange skin colour, I don't know why it's strange. But I always remember it's here like this, so I'm just going to go with it. 
So the legs and the bottom half of him is all done on that. So what we're going to do now is rock on these sides. We're going to add an extra four in total on the edge of these. So one, two, three, four. So again, five in total on the whole entire thing there. Pretty damn cool. So again, add another four. One, two, three, four. We're going to come back down to these columns. We're going to add a temporary block. And this can be any block that you like. It will be removed shortly after we place it. Let's put a white there because why not? And let's add one, two, three, coming out to the build. Go back onto the temporary block and we're going to come an extra one, two, three, and then one corresponding to the foot. So this one left foot is facing at the left. Come to the left, come all the way back over here, show again. Put a temporary block like so. I'm going to put one, two, three, coming out. And on top of that uh, temporary block, I'm going to come one, two, three, and then obviously corresponding right to right. Well, I'm going to come out to the right. That's pretty much it. You can remove those temporary blocks like so. You should be left with a pattern that looks like this. Pretty weird, I know. But obviously, if you do get lost in any of my tutorials, guys, and I speak way too quick, then obviously, just pause the video and go back at any time. That's the beauty of YouTube. I only have one take of this. And believe me, I've screwed up many a times. So don't worry too much about that. So, again, on the edge of three, we want to put a temporary block. Let's do exactly the same thing on the other side as well. Like so. After that, you want to come four up. One, two, three, four. Same thing on the other side as well. I'm going to come along. One, two, three, four. On top of that, you can remove those temporary blocks. And if you look very carefully, you can see there's a lot of stick bits hanging out there, which we talked about earlier. Just put one, two to connect with orange. It's exactly the same thing on the other side as well. One, two to connect and bridge that line off, like so. Pretty damn cool, not going to lie. So again, those bits there, you can just fill in. So three, three along, two high. You can just fill in with your corresponding skin color. So for us, it's going to be the light gray stained clay, like so. Ooh, awesome. After that, we can add a little bit of detailing here in the chest now. So what we're going to do is switch to our dark gray, and we're going to come one in each of the corners. So we come one in each of the corners, and we're going to build this up. So we're going to come on visible stair set. So everything on the side of visible stair set, and again another visible stair set, but it's going to be with our red, so you can tell like so. And uh, we're going to put a grey in between those, a dark grey again, so again, corresponding colours. A red on top, and then next to those reds, we're just going to put a grey like that. And that. I think that will do for the chest plate there. That's not, you know, not too heavy, not too much. It's quite simple, but uh, it's really quite nice as well. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. So let's work on the left arm here. I'm going to come all the way to the corner here. I'm going to come up visible, so it's a three, one, two, three, into the build like so. And that's going to come along an extra one, two, three as well to make a line of four. Once you've done that, we can come all the way back to here. I'm just going to put a block from the second block, even like so. So you should have a pattern that looks pretty much exactly like that. After you've done that, we're going to come back onto the end of this one here. I'm going to come one, two down, which should sit snug as a bug on top of the first grey there. Obviously, two invisible says it now. And we're going to follow that all the way along until it connects to the peak of this other one here. So again, it should be a total of five, which is one, two, three, four, five. It's a snug next to this one, like we did. Next to that one as well, we just want to put a skin colour and a black on top, like so. After that, you can follow that black up the visible stair set one, make it a line of two, and then we're going to come to the visible stair sets down again until they connect, like so. So you have a little pattern like this again. The light stained grey up there, one on top, invisible stair set out to the build to the right here, make it a line of two, then down invisible stair set two, to connect to that other column, like so. And that whole entire section there, you can just fill in with your corresponding skin colour. There we go. Like so. So the rest of that whole entire bit in there, this whole entire bit in here, you can actually just fill it in with his skin colour like so. So let's just do that in right now. Let's fill that in, that old, uh, that old man potato skin, as I like to call it. I think I've just named it that now. He's the only character I've done with this corresponding skin colour. So, a little bit crazy, not going to lie. Be careful as well when you're filling this in. Make sure not to fill these little pockets in. You'll know when you have, because when you come out and look at it, it will just look naffy, so don't fill those bits in at all. So, let's start building the left-hand side. Now, the left-hand side is the hardest, purely because you've got the head integrated with his sword. So, uh, yeah, let's do that bit now, because it is going to be a little bit hard. It's going to be a little bit sketchy, so we do that together like so. So, from this lonely one sticking up here, we're going to come invisible stair set out to the build to the left now. To the left, invisible stair set one. I'm going to make that a upside-down L. Like so, as you can tell, upside down. Again, turn your head either way, it doesn't matter, you'll see the upside down L. On top of that, going to add one, two blocks, like so. And then we're going to come back down here. Now, the easiest way to say this is just keep strong and focused when you're doing this, is just to do invisible stair set from here. So come out one here, one up, and one more, like so. So you want a pattern of three. 
can go as many as you like, but I'm only going three. And then under next to those blocks, just place black, like so. And you should have a sword integrated with the head. No, that's pretty much it. That's the hardest bit of this whole entire thing. If I'm perfectly honest, it's probably going to be the hardest bit of the whole entire thing. Dig it stuck in that little small section in there. You can always go back and have a little look. Let's do the rest of the head here. So from the top column here, we're going to come out with the visible stair set one. Make it a line of two high. And we're going to come with the visible stair set two. One, two. It's going to be two along as well with the extra added one. And then the top layer, like so. We're going to calm down there. Calm it, calm it for a little bit. Ooh, we're going to have a little look at what we've just done there. So obviously, if you want to pause the video, that's pretty much it. But if you've done that, let's carry on. So from the top one here, we're going to make a line of six in total. So including this one, so three. Four, five, six. Come down to visible set at three. One, two, oh, two, three. Like so. This third one should come all the way down. So just connect in the left hand corner. Boop, like so. Done. Easy mode. And that's pretty much his head. So all we need to do now is fill it in. This is not going to be hard at all. It's going to be really easy. So the bottom chin line here. Again, you want to run five V corresponding skin color, like so. Come to the end of the fourth one here. Come up one, and then left. And what we're going to do is add an extra three. One, two, three. We can come in one to the right. We're going to come up one. One to the right. And we're going to switch to our white wall. And we're going to come one, two along. Switch to your skin colour again. Put your white wall next to it. Skin colour. Then your white to white underneath. And a skin colour like so. And this small little section here, believe it or not, is actually just going to be his face. The rest of this is hair, which is kind of crazy, I'm not going to lie. So what we're going to do is do the eyes. It's probably the hardest bit of this thing, of the face, sorry. So we're going to come under, underneath the two white here and make a four block of black. Under the single white, we're going to come one, two down. Underneath the two black is a white. So as you can tell, we've already done one eye. And we're going to put some white on the left-hand side of this eye, two, and then two underneath the four block of black, like so. Under that white, we can come one, two, and then an extra third one to the left as well, just to complete the mouth of the actual figure. After that, we can just fill it in the rest, that small square, careful when you're tre treading on this, with the corresponding skin colour, which we have done like so. And the rest of that, you can just fill in with the yellow stained clay, obviously not that orange, yellow stained clay, or any other particular hair colour that you feel that He-Man should have, red maybe or something, or luminous green, it's entirely up to you. Then, uh, yeah, just fill it in the whole entire section now with uh, with your hair. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's not too hard, that build. As I said, probably the hardest thing out of the whole entire thing is connecting between the head and the sword. Uh, it does get a little bit tricky purely because there's too many invisible sets, there's too many blocks. But if you cut, f if you literally concentrate and focus throughout that whole entire section there, you'll be able to fly through it. So, yeah, guys, that has been my He-Man. It is snowing, which I don't want. But if you did enjoy guys, hit me up with a like and a comment. If you've got any suggestions, bung them down in the comment section below. I read every single comment, it's crazy, I know, but I do. I love reading them. But until the next one, guys, kill a Kevin and kill a Kevin out.